Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Keanu K, and welcome to another day of October. It is now day three, and today we're going to be doing a What's in My Bag Realtor Edition. So this is the bag, very big bag, very cute. It's from Target, has three compartments. It is very spacious. If you're new to my channel, you don't know, I also am a realtor in Florida. So if you know anybody looking to buy or sell a house, in Florida, hit me up. I go anywhere in Florida. I don't even care. He was to Tallahassee. I don't care what a sale is. I will make it my point to be there. One thing about me, honey, I'm going to chase the bag. I'm going to chase the check by any means. I have to drive up on a flight, a bus, train, a bright line. I don't need a bright line to get me from here to Orlando within 45 minutes. I don't turn down any sales. Get into this. Um, we're going to start off with the obvious, which is going to be my bag, is my phone. Cute. This case is from... It's mirror, it's like a mirrored case, so it's kind of reflect when I put it in the camera. But this is from Amazon. Y'all can see the, um, I had it for a minute, so it's not really silver anymore. The heart sounds scraped off, but I'm about to get the iPhone 15, so I won't need this anymore anyways. Next, we have my iPad. I love this case. I always get complimented on this case. It is from Amazon as well. It is in my storefront. So I'll link my storefront in my bio as always. This is a huge iPad. What I mostly use it for is Dot Loop. So that's where we go to submit our offers. I'm not gonna pull that up right now. Or, um, you know, when I go into the homes, if I don't print out the MLS with all the information about the house, I pull it up on my iPad and allow my clients to look over it to see all the square footage, rooms, anything about the house. This definitely comes in handy at the times when you're showing a house to a client and they love it and you want to submit the offer right then and there. Waiting to go home and waiting to go somewhere to get Wi-Fi is just, it's not going to work. I have Wi-Fi on this already or I have internet included on this iPad so I just pull it out, drop the offer, send it to my client, have them sign it right then and there, send it to listen agent. Honey, we, we move fast around here. In Florida right now, houses are going left and right. You find a good house for a good price, put an offer ASAP. Don't wait for anything. Next, we have obviously wallet. Can't go anywhere without this. Also have a water. I usually have it in like a tumbler or something, but two times now, back to back, I went to my hairstylist and left my tumbler there. I need to not take my tumbler to any hair appointment. Take a water bottle. I have a brush and a comb because it's Florida, it's humid. You have to always be on your A game. You never know who you're gonna run into. Make sure your hair, you know, is in place intact at all times. We have a fan, like I said, it's Florida and it's hot. So we have a fan to cool me down in between showings or whatever I'm going through for that day, especially when it comes to a new construction home during the summer. Oh my goodness. Cause it was hot. I have um, a pair of gloves because listen, some of these homes that my clients be having me going to, I don't want to touch anything in there. The doorknob be looking dusty and rusty and have cobwebs and insects and I don't want to touch that. I don't want anything to touch me. I usually have shoe covers in here too, but I don't. I need to get some more. Before you walk into like new construction homes, you usually will use shoe covers so you don't scrape the floors. Or if some homes would just prefer that, you you know, or if it's carpet, you don't want to carry anything you stepped on outside, inside the house, because it's not your home yet. So you put shoe covers on so you don't scuff any floors or get anything on the carpet. But these gloves, back to these gloves, I'm telling you, somehow I don't want to touch anything in some of these homes. Like whether it's foreclosed home or just old homes, like, or just homes that, I've been on the market for a while and the seller has um, not upkept it. So they just look a little, just a little, a little used. I don't want to touch anything in there. So I put my gloves on. I'm not ashamed. And I also like having gloves in my purse, period. Real to purse or not. I hate touching gas pumps. I despise touching gas pumps. So I um, usually have them either in my purse or my car to touch the gas pumps because during COVID my nana instilled that in me and I kind of have been slacking on that so I need to get back on that because I don't know what's going people are evil they be putting all types of needles and stuff on the gas pumps well I don't know where they get that from but it's a thing a phone charger because when I'm out all day doing showings you know phone dies whatever band-aid because I am clumsy very very clumsy into a, a showing before where I fell and 
you know, I'm just clumsy. It might be a It's no excuse for that. I need these because I'm clumsy. So I either have these or I have some clear ones as well. These, let me show y'all. You know, the skin tone band-aid so you don't really see it. It doesn't really match my skin tone, but if you could tell that it don't match my skin tone, you're looking a little bit too hard. It's a little bit darker than my skin tone, but like I said, I do not need to look that hard. Anyways, next, down there wipes. Holy girl, down there wipes. You need to have these, but if you're real to purse, you're going outside first. Anyway, you're going, you need to have these wipes. And these are flushable. So a lot of, most of the ones aren't flushable. But you know, sometimes just regular tissue just don't do it. You need to get a little fresh down there, freshen up a little bit. And then sometimes when you're going to showings as well, they don't have toilet paper in some of these showings. So I try to keep uh, toilet paper in my car as well to accompany um, in case my clients have to pee a little bit. Anything else, do not do anything else but pee in a home that is not yours. Like, if you're looking to buy the home and it's not yours yet, do not do number two. Go pee and get out the be blown. Like, I feel like it's so disrespectful. Like, I'm in um, Facebook groups and I see people are like, oh, my clients took a number two in the home I was showing. Where is the common decency? Like, that is... Pen. I usually have more than one pen, but right now I only have one. My realtor, my name pen. You guys can see it. I especially like to have this when I'm going to showings because some people just, for some reason, just don't think I'm a realtor. I've had when I went to um, in Palm Bay a couple months ago, or like was it July? July? Yeah, that was like July, August. I went to Palm Bay to show a home. Well, I was talking to the client via FaceTime. So I went in to show a home and the neighbors were just, honey, they were just, they couldn't understand why I was going into such a nice house. Like they kept looking and they came around the back and they sat in the, and they came back to the front. I saw the people through the window like, so I like to keep this so they can know what I'm doing. I'm not just walking into random homes. I am a realtor. Also keep some business cards on me because you never know who you're gonna run into. Um, some people do leave them inside the homes. I've noticed that a lot. I don't think I've ever left my business card inside a home that I'm showing because I feel like, who is it for? People who are coming to show the home obviously are working with an agent already. And then the house is on the market already being sold, so you don't need a listing agent either. So I just don't understand the purpose of leaving these at the homes you're showing, but some people do, and I'm not knocking them. I have a whole bunch of scrunchies. Like I said, it's hot in Florida. Sometimes I start the day with the hair down. I need to put it up real quick, put it in a butt, a ponytail or something. So I just have a whole bunch. Variety. BC, let me tell you. Some of these clients give me a headache. So I have a BC powder that I'm quick to take real quick with some water behind it. It's a little secret. It might sound crazy, but I don't even need water for the BC. I've been taking BC since I was like five because my family has a history of migraine. So we all been taking BC. I know it's bad for you, so I'm trying not to take it as often anymore. I'm trying to just take Tylenol, but I don't think anything works like a BC, to be honest. And side note, if you are um, going out to drink, take a BC before, before you drink, and you won't get hungover. Some Claritin because allergies. Like I said, going to some of these homes, there's dust, there's, even like, I'm allergic to like trees and grass. So my allergies are always on 10. So I keep the clarity with me. And then I have my glasses because I am blind. I'm not really blind, but like when it comes to like screens or reading, I need my glasses very bad. And of course, Fenty, you never go wrong with Fenty lip gloss. You don't need to reapply throughout showings, which I might need to do right now. And this is on this last leg, so. That is all that's in the middle section. So now I'm gonna move on to the two side parts. So over here, I keep some perfume spray throughout the day because you don't want to stink because I don't want my clients to sneak. I don't want to smell them. I'm sure they don't want to smell me either. So keep me a perfume. This is from Target. Actually, one of my clients, um, when I was showing home, she was like, what is that? Like, you smell so good. And so for her clothing gift, I went ahead and got her one of these. That's one thing about me. I, not my purse, I can see through the ground. <gasps> What's going on? What about me is I love throughout the transaction, the whole from like 
the consultation to a closing table. I like getting to know my client so I know what to purchase them for clothing. So like I knew she wanted the perfume, so I got her the perfume. I knew she was pregnant, so I got her something for the baby, you know. You have to get to know your clients. You have to be one with them. They're trusting you with a big, a big, big, big purchase in their lives. I keep some lotion because I do not want to be ashy. My clients are not gonna say I'm ashy. So I keep me nice little lotion, which is actually I'm running out. So I need to get some more. Hand sanitizer, like I said, I don't like touching anything after every showing. I am spray, spray, spray because I just ooh, I don't like um touching stuff. I just don't. I don't know who touched it before, if they washed their hands. I'm just, it's a little OCD. Not nothing too major, just a little slight OCD. I keep some glowy balm because my lips, you know, lip gloss and this because you never know. Sometimes, like you said, the Fenty is, the Fenty's done. So I just have this for the most part. That was in the wrong compartment. That should have been in there. And then a tie to go stick. Like I'm telling you, like I said, I am clumsy. I am very clumsy. So. This tie to go stick works wonders. If I get anything on my shirt or my dress or anything, I open it and we're, we're good to go. Cannot be caught slacking with these clients. I like to be on my A game. And then this next side, y'all don't judge me. This is just honestly, I know me and I know how I get throughout the day when I have a long day for the clients or a showmates or whatever I have to do. So I know me. I have a banana that's Honestly, I need to eat like tomorrow or make it to a smoothie. But I have a banana because something quick to snack on. I usually keep a banana or an apple, something I could just snack on real quick, not too messy, you know. I usually have some gum in here, but I don't right now. I have some fruit snacks and something to keep me going until I am able to eat dinner. And who was calling me? Jermaine. my video so all right i love you I love you too. even when he's not home he found a way to interrupt my videos this why i said don't judge me because i keep so hot cheetos in my bag and this is my problem is that now i'm sitting here eating my snacks this is my last bag of cheetos so that is what I currently keep in my real estate bag. It does change, it varies between clients, but that's what like, that's the core of what I keep. I'm always gonna have some snacks, always gonna have some lip gloss, hand sanitizer, gloves. I usually keep a little spray deodorant in there too, which be prepared, you never know what is going to happen. There are a whole bunch of circumstances that could happen when it comes to real estate, so. Stay ready so you don't gotta get ready. If you know anybody looking to purchase or sell anywhere in the state of Florida, hit your girl up. We can make that happen. But y'all know me as Keon Little K. My name is Keon, middle name is K. But my nickname is Key. So my realtor page, I'm, I'm gonna link it in the description, but it's Keys Keys. You get it? Because Key, me, Key. So I'm giving you the keys to your home. And usually I have my keys in here too, but y'all know obviously you can't drive without keys. So. This is the end of this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We are going strong. Well, October day three, I'm not even gonna lie, it's a little hard because I did not pre-plan. Well, I pre-planned, I wrote down pre-plan, but I didn't actually do it. So this is really in real time. I am recording, editing that night, uploading it the next day. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all, I am going to Houston on Friday. So I'm going to try, it's Monday now. So I'm going to try to, get some videos i'm gonna try to batch um batch create so i can have videos to hold you guys over while i'm in houston so it's not gonna be like editing you know recording editing recording editing so we're gonna hope that i can batch create tomorrow we are going to decorate with all the decorations that i got yesterday you guys saw in yesterday's video so um yeah, tomorrow we're gonna decorate this house before we leave. You have to do a haul. And then honey, we're just going to hope and pray. But if I end up missing a day or two or three over the weekend, that is why, because I'm not here. But this is October is gonna be better than last year. I'm actually, you know, I have the plan. I just need the platform. Please like, comment, subscribe. Now it's time to take a shower and cook and edit this video. So I'll see you guys tomorrow on day floor of October.